Welcome back. Let's play Skyward Sword. So I need to move the time shift crystal around to where I can actually uh, do something with it. But I need to still get into the room. Oh jeez. Die. Show yourself. That eh, close enough. There we go. Oh, well, that was convenient. Let's go. Oh, he didn't even see me. I still hate these female statues. There is no easy way to kill them at this point in the game. A little later, there's going to be a very easy way to kill them, but not right now. And I just trapped myself in this room. So let's put the time shift orb in the corner. Let's go all the way around. And there we go. And now we can pull the switch. And that releases the cage so we can take the time shift orb all the way around. That a very interesting puzzle. Uh, not one of the best puzzles, but it's one at a time. One at a time. Will these guys give me, give me as much trouble as they did earlier? Well, let's find out. Stab, Link! I told you to stab! What don't you understand? Ugh. I just suck at this. That's all. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm getting a little better at this. I still hate these guys. There isn't anything I like about these enemies. Do you like these enemies, viewers? Please say no. Because I, I have a hard time believing that you like these enemies. They are creative, but they're just annoying. And it bugs me quite a bit. Oh, okay. We made it. Thank goodness. Okay, let's, no, let's drop it in the center. There we go. Am I doing that? It opens up. The, the main entrance. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I don't see any ship in there. I still don't see any ships. But, eh, okay. Oh, wow, that's... That thing's going pretty tall. I'd be worried about that thing falling down and crushing me. That would be pretty scary. Well, brings up a new entrance. So we should go check it out. And it opens up the door. Uh, yes, V. Oh, really? I, I couldn't feel the trembling to figure that out on my own. Oh, my goodness. Seriously, I wonder sometimes about V. She's just... I don't know, I guess we can call her crazy, but... I like Navi more, but... V, uh, V's V, I suppose. Does anyone like V more than Navi? I have a hard time believing it, but I, I suppose it's possible. We all have our likes and dislikes. Okay, can I get up to where I want to get up now? Yes, yes I can. Cool. Because we can use our claw shots to... Huh. Oh, there we go. We can use our claw shots to... Get up higher. Yeah, I didn't know about this my first time around. I, I had to go look for it. So, we use our claw shots and we get another goddess cube. Now I feel like playing Pikmin on a GameCube. Now, viewers, I've never really play to pick my game. I mean, there's a McDonald's back when I was a kid in Sacramento. They, were, they, had, they had two game cubes in the playpen. And I had... Oh, there's nothing else I could explore here. I basically had... Oh, let's take a quick look real quick. I don't think there's anything. No, there's nothing. Make it? There we go. My sister played Super Smash Bros. Melee. I played Pikmin. And the, the controller was broken, so it was hard to play Pikmin. Huh? Maybe the ship's broken, but I don't think the ship had a sail that small. Far from the ship that protects the flames. Oh, maybe they just broke theirs. Oh, now you give me the dowsing ability. Thanks, V. I could have used that 10 minutes ago. Or how about 30? Uh, v is just. Uh, I'm done talking about V. Oh jeez, make it. There we go. Yeah, it's not fun trying to play a video game with a broken controller. I think we would all know about that, right, viewers? Because what's the most important part about a video game? Being able to play it. Yes, because if you can't play the game, uh, well, what's the point? 
I don't know, it's kind of like the Kinect for the Xbox 360 and stuff, but I'm not, I'm not too crazy about it, so, eh, whatever. Let's go, let's set out to sea, like the Narnia movie. Oh yeah, I did watch the third Narnia movie, Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Although I do miss Peter and Susan, but I do like the other three characters a lot, and I'm not gonna spoil the ending, but it's a good movie. We attack it, then we might. Oh, yeah? I, I suppose so. And yes, you could use your dowsing ability, and you could zoom at the same time. Alright, that's where it is. I'm running into a wall, aren't I? Okay, I'm running into a wall. It's just because I'm crazy. Alright, we'll get there. It's somewhere over there. I can feel it. Ha! Oh, yeah! Yeah, take that! You must all die! You'll feel my wrath! And the ship does move, so... And remember that the ship is, uh, the ship's invisible. So we want to shoot it to make it uninvisible like Skipper is talking about. We're getting closer. We're getting there. We're almost there. Okay, now we're not. The circle hasn't gotten any bigger, but... Or... We're, we're getting, we're, we're, we're almost, okay, never mind. I'm going to stop saying we're almost there, we're not literally almost there. We're halfway across the ocean. I don't know, but this ocean seems pretty small compared to the ocean in the on the Earth. Because the Earth's ocean takes up 70% of the, well, the planet. While our land only, okay, there it is. While our planet only takes up like, huh, where'd it go? Uh, it moved on me. Come out, come out, wherever you are. There it is. Yeah, it likes to move. Alright, prepare the cannon. Fire! Oh, there it is. Hey, come back. Come back! Casper, we're taking the ship away. There it is. Just keep firing at it like the ghost ship in Phantom Hourglass. And eventually the ship uh, stops moving around. I'm guessing that ship has a time shift orb as well, or maybe the ship's haunted, perhaps? And something like that. I mean, the ship could be haunted. Alright. Oh, it's a long way down. <laughs> I like how this is like the, the entering of the dungeon instead of uh, walking through like a uh, tunnel, like link, like the entrance. And here we make it to the sand ship. Wow, this place is really interesting. But I'll explore this place next time. Yeah, we'll explore it next episode. It, this place reminds me of, uh, it pretty much reminds me of Snow Peak and Twilight Princess, or it made you wonder if it was. Really a dungeon or not? Uh, hold on. Can I? Yeah, okay. We can still make it there. So what I'm gonna do is... Uh... Oh. Is that close to the dock? Okay, never mind. I'll just do this on screen. Uh, we actually want to get all the goddess chests that we have now. And we'll explore the sand ship in the next few episodes and everything. And completely finish that place once and for all. But for the rest of this episode, we've pretty much finished the Pirate Stronghold, and we pretty much got everything else done. We got a lot of goddess cubes while we're at it, so let's pretty much go find those goddess cubes, and it's not a far trip back to find the, the sand ship, which is probably my favorite dungeon in this whole entire game, and we'll see why next time. But for the rest of this episode, you know what we're doing, viewers. I said it already. So let's go ahead and take care of it. I always wonder what the bird's name is in this game. It kind of makes me wonder, but... Well, wait, is there a treasure chest over there? No, I'm seeing things. But, uh, yeah, now let's go get this treasure chest. We already got the life medals, but... There's still, uh, the treasure chest that, uh, contains the... A piece of heart that I want. Piece of heart number 12. And I can't remember if this is the treasure chest that has or not. I, I think it is, but well, let's go double check real quick. I think the other goddess chests, that, like the other cubes and chests that we got are 
in Skyloft, because there are a couple, I mean, there's one chest in there that you can't get unless, uh, unless, oh yeah, you have the, the dragon scale, but you can't get the chest until, like, much later anyways. Is this the chest I'm looking for? Well, I guess it is. I do need to make more Let's Play videos on Pokemon Yellow and Final Fantasy 3. I, well, this is my main Let's Play, so I make more episodes on this. And it's my favorite video game series, so I don't see why not. And here we get the Potion Metal. It prolongs the effects of a potion. Which is very useful for the Guardian Potion. So instead of three minutes, it'll be six minutes. So that's awesome. No, Link, there we go. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's get out of here. There we go. Alright, let's go back to Skyloft. The potion metal is very useful. I, it even works with the stamina potions where it's, I think it's like three minutes where you can run as much as you want to like six minutes in case you have an area like the Lanayra Mines in case you're going back there to do that kind of stuff. But uh, I, I usually don't, but well, the, the potion metal is useful in its own way. I just don't use it until the near the very end of the game, I should say. I mean, it has its, it has its usefulness, but then it also doesn't. But well, that's just me. Come on, almost there. We're almost there. You know what? I wonder if the knights of Skylock use their swords on the back of their birds. Like how Link uses his sword on, uh, like on Epona in Twilight Princess, which I like. I loved it a lot. I wish they did that in Ocarina of Time for the remake, but they stay true to the original, so they didn't do that. But I love it. I love a lot of things, like Chinese food. Uh, okay. There's one on the bazaar, and there's also one. Oh, way up there. Okay, cool. Well, let's get the one of the bazaar first, since we're here. Yeah, it's important to pick up the goddess cubes, or oh, the goddess chests, uh, before and after every dungeon. I said I'm doing mine before, so there's no reason why it'd be after. Hey, Fee, how's it going? No, really? Why are you telling me this as if I've never seen a goddess chest before? Fee, shut up! <sighs> in case we saw this in the very beginning of the game, but, well, Fee is just Fee. And we got 300 rupees! Can never have enough money. Alright, now let's get the one at the top of the waterfall and pretty much call it a day. Yeah, I know the episode's gonna be pretty short, but eh, you know, that's okay. I need to go to work soon anyway. Yeah, I gotta leave for work in like, uh... Why do I leave for work? Oh, yeah, like 20 minutes, so. Yeah, I'd like to have a snack before I leave, too. But instead, I'm recording Skyward Sword! Yay, water! Is that the same water graphics from Mario Galaxy? Huh. Never really thought about it before. Maybe it is. Or maybe it isn't. Eh, whatever. Let's just go ahead and get this done and over with. Okay, there we go. One here. Good. I was hoping I wouldn't drop to my death. Not that you would, but it's not like we're Iron Man or anything. We can just make our way to the very top by flying. And no, you can't drop up to the top with your bird. The, the game doesn't allow you to. Trust me, I've tried. I mean, I don't see why we couldn't drop to the top with our bird, but the game just doesn't let you. That's all. And in this chest, we got heart piece number 12. Actually, this is my 13, but the guard ain't giving me my heart piece, so eh, it works out just fine. So what does the sand ship have in store for us? Find out next time on Let's Play Skyward Sword. And I'll just meet you guys back to the sand ship off screen, so have a good day.